Hey YouTube, my name is Isaiah Games and welcome back to this brand new video where I'm going to teach you how to make subdiv proxies work smoothly with presets. So, um, maybe some of you have noticed a problem, but if you have a cube and let's say we're, we're gonna make it Minecraft head skill or 8x8 by 8x8 by 8x8 by 8 by 8 by 8 subdivisions and everything and press 3 on your keyboard and you render it out with uh, Maya software it will not look smooth, it actually still has the hard edges uh, the problem for that is that this uh, smooth uh, this way of smoothening your mesh is not supported by Maya software if I'm, not co if I'm correct it's supported by Maya hardware by Maya hardware 2.0 and I'm not sure about, nope, it's not supported by Maya Vector, but some people want to render with Maya software, so basically we're gonna do a workaround for this, and that is that we're gonna make a subdiv proxy. So, um, to actually get this working, we're gonna go up to select the object first of all, go up to Mesh, go down to Smooth Proxy, and then you'll see subdiv proxy standing down here. Go to the little square box over here and make sure that, in the, my case, I already have some settings set up. Make sure to reset the settings. And then you can choose your own subdivision level, which can be 4, 5, 2, or 3. But in this case, we're going to go with 3, and I'm going to explain you the different subdivision levels and preset levels uh, in a moment once I've done this. Now, there's a very important step for making presets work better, and that is to turn on Maya Catmull Clark instead of Open Subdiv Catmull Clark, because this will kind of ruin uh, the look. It will make the edges look blurry when once you actually have smoothed it and you want to have a preset on top of it. So now let's go down to propagate hard edges, which is also a very important step for this. So make sure to enable it and then go down to the display settings. We'll see the subdiv uh, proxy shader. Make sure it's set to transparent and then make sure the subdiv proxy transparency is set all the way up to one which will make it fully transparent since this is still a very important object to have and then click apply and now we have a smooth object which has its original box around it so I reckon you want to know how to make the presets well there are two ways but I'm only gonna cover one of them in this video which is the easiest way in my opinion for that you go up to windows go down to relationship editors and click presets it will bring up this menu over here and well it's just uh, you can create new you can add edges and stuff you can remove them and you can select all of them as well so right now we're gonna go to the object and go into edge mode in this case we want to have uh, most of the edges being sharp or actually I'm I have a better idea. Let's actually do partially and then do the rest later on. So, right now we have this. Selected the edges by holding shift and double click on double clicking on an edge, it will select the whole edge. And go over to the preset editor and press new. So basically, you have a sharpened edge over here which isn't fully sharpened yet. Okay, so here comes the explanation about uh, the subdiv proxy and the preset editor. And that is that the exponential level has to be the same as the crease level if you want it to be fully sharp. As you may notice right now, it is as sharp as it used to be when, uh, once it didn't have the subdiv proxy. And that is because the crease level is the same as the subdivision level or the exponential level. So let's say we turn this down to about 2 and then we still have this. This is still very sharp because it, this 
has a maximum grease level of 3. Now let's say we bring this down to 1, then this will actually be smoothened a bit again. And if we bring this up to 2, it will be fully sharp again because it is the same as the poly's or as the exponential level or the uh, or the cre or the subdivision level. So there's another thing you can have multiple crease sets on a single object. So let's say we want to have more on a single object. We can do that by clicking the new edges we want to have a crease set on and press new. Maybe we want to add this to have a lower subdivision level so we can do that and then it'll give you something that looks like this. So uh, because a couple of you are actually Minecrafters on my channel who want to know how to make Minecraft rigs and stuff, I'm going to give you an extra trick for this. So first of all remove these uh, oh, or actually let's select this whole mesh and remove all of these and delete these selected levels. So in your case it's probably that um, you have the mouth like this. By the way I still have one thing to explain and that is that you have the, uh, ex the subdivided mesh and you have the original mesh or the outline. In this case if you go to the outliner you will see that we have two objects inside of one group. It used to be this single cube but we actually made a smooth object out of this cube and that is actually this object. So this object we can actually turn uh, invisible over here once we have done the editings we had to do. And it's very important to note that this is actually still editable and that it will actually influence the mesh underneath. So that's a little thing to note so you can actually use this mesh to actually have like the mouth and everything be animated while it's still being smooth. So let's go to the mouth and extrude it inwards uh, just a bit like about point. Let's go with point 0.4 and the eyes are actually pretty much the same as the mouth except that we're gonna delete the background of the mouth and right now we have this so what we want to do now is go to edge mode and select the outer edge of the mouth oh. and just select it like this we still have one, no, okay uh, click new and then you'll notice that you have a hard mouth. So let's actually turn up this exponential level a bit because it's still quite hard. And what you can do right now is if you select the original mesh and go into face mode, you can actually see that this actually gives a smooth movement to the original object. So let's say we want him to frown or smile or something. Let's actually take this away. Then it'll look very smooth and stuff. So basically, um, this is about it. What I wanted to teach you guys. Uh, it's important to know that you can still edit the outer mesh. That's why we turned down the invisibility all the way to uh, zero, so it wasn't visible anymore. And also that you can actually you can actually add a bone structure to the original mesh which will then control the mesh which has been smoothened by the subdiv proxy so i hope you guys thought this uh tutorial video very informative and i might plan on doing more of these videos and if you have any questions or suggestions on what you want to know or some things you've uh, some problems you've encountered Feel free to ask, I might consider making a video on it, and I hope to see you guys back in the next video. Bye!